in number. And here is my lesson plan. To start with, may I request everyone to please stand for an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. How are you today? Okay, I feel great and blessed this morning. So before we proceed with our lesson proper, let's sing first a song entitled, I Love Man. So can you follow what will I perform? Someone who are in 
the numerator has a bigger value or equal to 1 compared to its denominator. And that is improper fraction. And lastly, it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. That is a mixed number. Very good. So this time I have here a set of flashcards. So kindly identify whether it is a proper, improper, or mixed number. Let's start now. Okay, another set. Kindly choose one member in each group to raise your top boards. Then to those who can answer it fast, there will be an additional points for your quiz right away. Are all ready? Okay, let's start now. Okay, thank you kids. So I think you really understand what is our topic this morning. So I will ask you again. What fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator? Is it proper or improper? Very good. That is proper fraction. And what fraction whose numerator is a bigger value compared to its denominator? That is improper fraction. And lastly, it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. That is a mixed number. Very good kids. Good job. And this time, I will have your activity right away. Can we answer this one in a sheet of paper? And afterwards, let's check your answers. They're okay, all done. Okay, we have here one, two, three, four. That will look perfect. Wow, most of you got perfect. You really understand our topic. So I will give you an assignment and kindly answer this one in your math and notebook. So, kindly fix your things now. That could be all for the day. And I hope you learn something with our topic about improper, proper, and mixed and number. Thank you and God bless everyone.